eighth and final race of the Wiesmann FIBT four-man bobsleigh World Cup in Sochi in Russia and into the top five in the deciding run, the last of the regular season. Justin Cripps of Canada, after a good day in the two-man, looking strong in four-man as well, finding his rhythm with the track that was so cruel to him during the Winter Games. No crashes this time, taking the lead away from Russia's Nikita Zakharov and putting himself in with maybe an outside shot at the medals. Standing in his way, though, was the world champion in four-man, Max Arndt. With his veterans, Rödinger and Putzer, joined by new boy Ben Heber, he was looking for some vindication here as well. He wasn't far from the medals, a little under a quarter second out of the top three in the first heat, and he was soon in front of Justin Cripps, a motoring fast down this track at 85 miles an hour, no mistakes opening up a decent advantage over the Canadians, but would it be good enough to claim a medal in Russia? In third spot, after a sensational Saturday where he took his first ever two-man gold, was Rico Peter. First man out of the start shed had an advantage of clean ice in heat one, and he was looking strong for the medals until this moment, crashing out and racing down to the bottom of the track on their heads at 80 miles an hour. Crew were all unharmed, a bit battered and bruised though from the impact with the wall. A fraction of a second earlier they'd have stayed upright, but when you're racing on the edge, occasionally you overstep the mark. Teammate Seaman Friedley and coach Wolfgang Stamfer dismayed at that. The crew rescued by their rivals, including Max Arndt and his crew. Kaylee Humphreys was there as well to help them out. Rico Peda bruised, battered and out of the running which left two to go. Oscar Smelbardis, the winner of the Olympic tryout event two years previously, and the silver medalist in the Olympic Games, which would go his way, a medal or a disappointment? Well, the team started with a brand new start record. They knew they had everything to do to give Melbardis a chance, and he took it with both hands, romping away from Max Arndt. Would it be enough to claim the gold medal? Only time would tell. Last man on the ice, Alexander Kazyanov. Denied a medal by just hundreds of a seconds in the Olympic Games. Twice already a silver medalist, again by a couple of hundreds in the World Cup. Could this be his day? He started slower than the Latvians and never got into the green, never once got ahead of them, but at the line, it looked as though it might have been his gold. The Latvians took it by 200s. Kazyanov, again the bridesmaid, will have to wait another day for that victory. Max Arndt completed the podium, and Oscar Melbardis, as the two-man, four-man and combined World Cup champion, completed a stellar season on top of the world. For FIBT TV, I'm Martin Haven.